Now, in my last video on YouTube, I actually tied a, a hair's mask, midge pupa, or buzzer pattern, which is basically in, in this in, the, in this box here. Now, I spoke about a coffee grinder that I used, and basically, two main questions I got asked was, how do I get the blend? How do I blend? Or where do I get the hair's mask stubbing? And one was how do I blend it? Now, so basically I'm going to show you how I did. Now this is the flies I tied. Now this is a mask. I'm going to show you as well. The, this is the body. This is the body fur uh, from a hair. And this is the mask. As you obviously see the, the, the ears as well. Now it's really simple to to actually make your own dubbing. Now in the mask itself you get real depends, you get a lot of good guard hair. Normally I would use this or pull it off as well, but when I'm tying a lot of flies and I want a dubbing, I just basically cut it off. Now I use a large pair of scissors to do this. So basically all I do is cut it as close to the skin as possible to get mainly the guard hair and because uh, it makes really good dubbing it's like a it blends and gives you good legs but what I like to do as well depending on the actual the mask I've got because they do slightly differ uh, in quality like this is more a, like I would say a kind of summer like it's very there's no a great deal of hair on it so what I would do is I've got the good sort of main hair which I've cut away now I've got the body here, here, and I'll blend them together, and I do much the same. So it's a wee bit softer the the body here. Now you could use other furs to do this. So I'm just going to make sure I've got enough to basically blend together. So that's how ready to blend. Now. The blender I use, and I've had it for oh, 20 plus years, this, this is a Krups coffee grinder. Now, the reason I bought it, uh, basically it's a good quality one. The, the, the other thing was that it's, you can, you can see here, it's clear. So it means when I can actually see what's happening. So what I do is, I just simply get my dubbing, put it in. And then I put it into the, the grinder. As you can see there, now this is why, because I like to see, make sure it's blended. If it's in something you can't see, then it's a bit useless. But what we do is we just pulse it. It doesn't take much. I mean, basically, that's that's near enough it. A uh, couple of pulses, and you've got some of the best dubbing you could use for tying tying flies. And there, and that's your, your mix and your blend, and that's how simple it is to make a dubbing. And as you see, it doesn't take much to do it. All we're doing, uh, you're not cutting the dubbing, they already did that by taking it off the skin. Uh, it's ready there to be used, and it's quite simple then. All we do is just into a bag, ready. And then obviously right on it, see what it is, here's mask mixed with body fur and uh, and there we go ready to use dubbing's very easy there's many dubbins that I make I like to blend my own uh, at times I like to mix colours uh, whether it be dyed I mean in the masks I've got a dyed yellow here which is a good colour so I've got the mask here Now I can do the same again. So we could tight this one. Probably I'm gonna take this fur up here. That's a good under fur, it's got a good bit of colour. I mean, this is dyed yellow as you can see. We've got the guard here. You make sure your scissors are sharp. Uh, and try and get as close to the skin as you can. You could use a smaller pair of scissors, but 
I've always used these. Depending how dark you want that, that'd be, that'd be fine. Take a wee drop more of this softer fur. Now if you haven't got a body fur to mix with it the same colour, on the cheeks here you'll see there's a lot of nice soft fur there. You can take some of that, blend it in. And we can do the same again, put it into the, the blender. And then just a, two or three pulses and the job is done. Put it in the right way anyway. So you can see. And basically that's it. I like to get a couple. And there we are. I'm not sure you got your, your dyed yellow. So easy. Very easy to make your own dubbing. And it's really aired out, makes and it's to dub, it's very easy once you put it through the blender to dub rather than pulling it straight from the skin because it's very straight. With this here it's tangled up, so you just need to then apply it to your thread. And it'll dub it extremely, extremely well. There you go. Two packets of dubbing. So that's your basically natural, the ideal. So that's how I actually blend and make dubbins for time, or quite a lot of my flies. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, again always thanks for watching and uh, if you find the, the videos uh, good at all please, please subscribe as it, it does help. And thank you for watching.